Haute Couture House Nina Ritchie, an internationally renowned French luxury brand, has been synonymous with timeless elegance and sophistication since the day it was founded. Though best known originally for its unforgettable scent, Le Air de Thames, Nina Ritchie's history actually began in Haute Couture with the opening of a fashion house in Paris in 1932 by Madame Ritchie and her son Robert. She designed gowns while Robert managed the business and finances. Nina Ritchie designs soon became known for their refined, romantic, always feminine detailing. She was determined to create clothes that brought the fairy tale back into fashion. In 1963, Gérard Pippart became the head designer of the fashion house and remained as designer of both the couture and boutique collections for 30 years. He kept the Nina Ritchie aesthetic alive with beautiful and elegant dresses. Feminine prints and shapes made up Pippart's contribution to the Nina Ritchie fashion house, with gowns of different themes often sent down the catwalk. From lace layered dresses to pink leopard print evening gowns, Pippart's collections are diverse. His 1998 collection was topped off by the wedding dress featuring a red rose print full skirt, pink rose printed bodice, and worn with an oversized hat and veil. In 1998, Nina Ritchie was acquired by the Barcelona-based Puge Beauty and Fashion Group, which aims to raise the brand's global profile. After Pippart came Miriam Schaefer, who had designed at Jean-Paul Gaultier for seven years, but her collections didn't impress the critics and were labelled boring. Canadian designer Natalie Gervais joined the house in 1999 to reinvigorate the Nina Ritchie name. Her luxurious and on-trend designs put the label back on solid ground with feminine evening gowns. Gervais's early 2001 collection did not disappoint. The very soft and subtle line included many featherweight fabrics like chiffon, cashmere and light velvet. She left the fashion house and Lars Nilsson took over. His collections used silk for sensual evening outfits featuring vivid colours such as red and purple or black, combined with white and peach pink, giving his evening dresses a sexy touch. His departure from Nina Ritchie saw Belgian designer Olivier Teskin take on the role of artistic director. For his highly anticipated debut at Ritchie, Teskin offered a collection that featured angora knits and swirling evening gowns in evanescent shades of grey and tangy lemon yellow. Teskin's gorgeous collections that have seen his gowns become a hit with Hollywood starlets like Sarah Jessica Parker, who referred to his ethereal dresses as works of art. He also draped Oscar winners Marion Cotillard and Reese Witherspoon, who he calls the embodiment of the Nina Ritchie woman, in his beautiful designs. Taiskin injected a much-needed shot of youth and femininity to the French fashion house, and he has been acclaimed for his vision since taking over as the role of artistic director. In the 21st century, Nina Ritchie remains best known for its fragrances, especially the enduringly classic L'Air de Thème, as well as a growing number of other fragrances and skincare products. The house of Nina Ritchie has endured many different faces, but the aesthetic always stays the same. Elegant, but with a tailored twist, the French fashion house's collections continue to dazzle consumers and critics alike. <laughs>